call hello, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Coming straight out of the job. <laughs> Got some free time, so doing a sit down. Got an article here from yournewswire.com titled Disrupt J20. Okay, Inauguration Day Terror Planned by Democrat Groups. Okay, because um, that's the talk right now. You know, the talk is Disrupt J20, which J20 is uh, January 20th, which is Inauguration Day, okay? Uh, it says, uh, a group of left-wing organizations have outlined their plan for a day of terror, which aims to cause maximum damage at Trump's inauguration, okay? Over 75 groups are to descend in onto the Capitol with plans to violently attack police, politicians, and citizens who wish to witness Donald Trump's inauguration ceremony. One of the groups, Disrupt J20, have urged readers of their website to break the law and do everything in their power to terrorize the city on Friday. Okay? Have urged readers of their website, website to break the law and do everything in their power to terrorize the city on Friday. Again, incriminating yourself. Okay? And you got to think, is this, uh, are these agents provocateurs or sincere people, uh, you know, using the power, the so-called power to protest and uh, chaos and uh, disruption to get their point across, okay? Most likely agent provocateurs, okay? Um, it says in an article entitled 10 Reasons to Go Hard on January 20th, the left-wing terror organization outlined to anarchists, socialists, and communists, why would it be worth driving across the country to a city crowded with reactionaries and police, okay? And, you know, uh, I'll post an article, I'll finish reading there, you know, and I'll let, you know, you people uh, check this out. But basically, you know, there's a plan, you know, and there's a real plan. The Lord has put in spirit on, you know, heathens and niggas, okay, mainly these heathens to go out and protest. And basically, you know, these are like the preliminaries for martial law. Because, see, they think that they're just going to protest, everything is going to be all right, and they're going to get a point across. But what they're missing is uh, martial law. And uh, crime, crimethink.com. So crimethink.com. Okay, think spelled the uh, T H I N C. Uh, ha has the article ten reasons to go hard on January twentieth. And I'll just skim through, you know, uh, you know some of the things. Like I'll just read this title here. It says what is at stake here is not a single day of protest but the paradigm of what it will mean to resist Trump, you know, so they're hoping for a better future without him because, you know, they, uh, it just says here people in, in, around the U.S., people around the U.S. are outraged and terrified at the prospect of being governed by a megalo megalomaniacal buffoon, okay, which is what he's considered as. He's considered as a buffoon, and people are unhappy about that. Um, but there was one other title, uh like this one the inauguration is an opportunity for a wide range of people to work together build a new networks that could act together for years to come okay so again thinking that the dwelling places shall live forever okay um what happens in the united states on january 20th will, will have massive repercussions all over the world which of course it will because you know america babylon is the heart of uh this world so of course anything that happens here at the heart um, will, will, will uh, uh, have a ripple effect, okay? It says uh, the price of failure is dire, okay? And on the sec on the number six, on the other hand, if the demonstrations succeed, we shouldn't let them be a missed opportunity, okay? Uh, this is our only chance to fight Trump under the laws and police protocol of the Obama era, okay? And so uh, anything that happens in D.C. will be worth 100 actions anywhere else. Okay, and if you can't make it to DC, there are plenty of models for organizing where you are. And basically, I just wanted to go over those titles because, you know, this is a plan. This is a plan for the people, you know, to go hard on January 20th, okay, for, uh, uh, to disrupt uh, the inauguration, okay? And basically, their hope is in a better tomorrow uh, and many more years of prosperity in this wicked ass kingdom, but that's not gonna happen. It's all downhill from here. You know, we're excited about January 20th. It's only two days away. All right, so stay tuned and see what happens. 
you know, keep your caps peeled, all right? You know, the day of Jacob's trouble is approaching, you know? So with that being said, Shalom, call hello, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to the house of David.